Welcome back to the channel YouTube VST here at Pistech. In today's video, we are going to install a Samsung Sans custom font. But first, what is Samsung Sans? And you know, guys, every time, it's every time you're reading these descriptions, yeah, they're so funny. But Samsung Sans is a sans serif typeface that is soft, it's unique, and it's very legible. <laughs> so you can download it free. On your Galaxy phone and I'm gonna show you how you're able to install from that so many custom fonts right without doing some hacking tweets and etc because yeah there are some tweaks whatsoever but right now this is the very legitimate way to get something very unique very soft and then legible so first thing we do right we have to go inside our settings inside the settings we need to go inside the display once you're inside display guys go and navigate towards font size and style once you're there, you're gonna see font style. Now click the font style. Right now we have the default, the Samsung One and the Gothic board. And there's something there called download fonts. When you click it, right, when you hit the plus icon, you are gonna get redirected to the Galaxy Store. So I'm gonna close my Galaxy Store and do this one more time so that you can see what happens. So clicking download fonts will open new fonts for your Galaxy. And actually, I think that the Samsung Sans is the top free thing that you can download that is made by Samsung. So, okay, Samsung Sun, very easy, guys. Click the download version. It is only 280 kilobytes. And the version, yeah, it's uh, not so recent. I would say it's from 2017, but okay, it's a phone, right? So, once this beauty is installed, right, we need to go back inside and Samsung Suns will magically appear here. And what do you think is the next step? It's very easy, guys. Just click on Samsung Suns and voila, you have it. Now, let me demonstrate the way it looks. Initially, it will be very hard for your eye, or at least for my eye, to see the difference. But there is indeed a difference. And this difference can be seen everywhere. So just see the way my folder titles look like, just see my notification and etc. So all of that is a bit different, even when you go inside. So if you go inside Telegram, right now the XTA News, this one here also has changed, okay? If you wanna go back to normal, again, display, then hit the font size and style, and then you can go back to the default, right? It will refresh automatically, right? And again, it's not really so obvious, but if you challenge me and you want to see something obvious, then all right, challenge accepted. I'm gonna go back again and install Cool Jazzy, which is probably something I'll never use, but even let's install this one here, Rosemary, right? I'm just doing this for you guys. This is one megabyte. It's a typeface that is sophisticated and unique. Of course, everything here is very soft, unique, sophisticated, and etc. And you also, of course, have the option to just hit the apply button and oh my god this is how it looks like so again i'm just doing this for you guys now you know what why not i mean yeah that's not really so readable for me but i can tell you it will change at least some part of the experience the way you use your phone so honestly i would never stick to this but if you want to mess with somebody then why not install this phone i will actually stick to the samsung sans because i think this is probably the best you can get and if you like videos like this why won't you consider subscribing for my channel last time people did it it was still free of course Lame at time for a joke, but guys, please subscribe, like the video if that's your thing. Please, you and your family, stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST over and bye.